Martin, 1-0 win over Shrewsbury, the, the curse of the manager of the month. It's all a myth, isn't it? Yeah, there's a, the manager of the month. There's the We don't get results against top teams. You know, it, it, all the things that uh, we've been asked today, we've managed to put to bed. You know, as you say, the, the curse is there. But last time I won it, which was back in 2006, we won the next game as well. But as I said to the players before the game, I'm not interested in the manager of the month. So I'm not in, in charge of taking plaudits now for us as a team. I'm interested in what ends up at the end of the season. If we end up with manager of the year and team of the year, then, then we'll be happy. But at the moment, it's still an awful long way to go further this season. Looked like two really good sides out there, didn't it? And, and it was a, a really good game after two battles here in the last two games. Yeah, I always say if a team has got quality with them, within them, which uh, shoes we definitely have, it allows us to, to counter-attack and, and, and then break on them as well. I feel we're better when we play the better teams because it actually gives us a chance to, to open up them as well. Whereas Dagenham come here and... and, and you know, with dogged, Northampton the same. I think it's a little bit different today. You say there was two quality teams. They're they're going to be there or thereabouts. So I mean, I, I don't know who the top three are going to be, but I think Shrewsbury will definitely be top seven. People will be talking about us as a top seven side now. But uh, it's it, it's pleasing because I think today we showed all aspects. We had to dig in when we when we needed against a quality side, but our pass, some of our passing first half was scintillating. I felt. Uh, a word for Brian Sire, who's come in to replace the departed Chris Robertson and done a really good job at the back. I said people have got to remember, Brian didn't have the best of starts, but then Brian came really good and was keeping Chris Robertson out of the side. You know, Chris was sitting on the bench and Brian was doing really well. Brian picked up his injury and opened up a, an avenue for, for Mark, uh, Chris to get in. As I said, I, I never ever, ever, ever had, had any hesitation that would be as good on the pitch with Brian instead of Chris. Obviously, we're a little bit weaker because if you ain't got Brian or Rennie on the bench, that weakens you a little bit. But uh, I ain't got no hesitation in terms of he's a quality player. I don't work with someone for, uh, what, eight years? Since Brian was a 16-year-old to know if he's a good player or not, and I know that he's a good player. Also, I mean, there was good performances all over the park, but Danny Stevens is, is just on fire at the moment, isn't he? Can't handle him, can they? He gets the ball to his feet, he moves it, he moves it quick, he's playing with confidence uh, and looks a danger every single time. And we say to Danny, when you get it, make sure you, your first movement is forward, attack him, ask some questions, and at the moment they can't handle him. And, and he, he's been, again, you keep saying, using the words in the lane, but he was today. I thought I thought he may be second in line for man in the match. I thought Lee Mansell was immense in terms of uh, ground covered. I'd like to put one of them uh, monitors on him when it tells you how many yards they do on the on the pro zone because I think Lee is mammoth and, and, and I think that's the art beat that runs through our side and everyone follows on from that. One final question and the hardest of the lot, who scored the goal? I don't know, I've had a look at it twice now. Ty Etienne heads it into the ground, Mark Ellis takes a big swipe at it, I don't know if he touches it or not, so I'll let him argue it out, uh, I don't really care, uh, it's either Ty or Mark, I need an honest boy, uh, but as I say, looking, looking on the video, you cannot make your decision which one out of the two scored the goal, so we'll let them have a, maybe a, a fight over it or toss of a coin, but I don't really care, it's one nil, and I'm sure they, if they said they scored half each, that would, they, would, they would both take that, and, and that's pleasing for us, but I'll leave it to you press people to sort that one out. Thanks Martin. Cheers. Awesome.